Auzubillahiminashaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Statement of cash flow This is one of the important statement nowadays people are looking into because it gives us clearly the money coming in and the money going out how much money we are receiving during the year and where this money is going where it is going to be used the cash flow statement is to read cash in real money and there are no assumption or estimates incorporated into it cash coming into business is inflow plus and cash going out of business is outflow so basically in this statement we show inflow of cash and outflow of cash now cash flow from or used in operating activity there are three activities we define in cash flow one is operating activities the business you are doing in regular business by like buying and selling if you are buying something and paying to your customer so how much you pay to the customer when you are buying something and you are paying to your suppliers so how much you paid for the supplier how much expenses you have paid how much tax you have paid how much interest you have paid clearly payments then cash flow from used investing activity investing activities particularly the long term not the short term long term for example you are buying some fixed assets plant equipment you have to report it as outflow but if selling part of it then it is an inflow so any long term investments you are making and reporting if you are making an investment is an outflow if you are selling any of those investment that is inflow cash flow from use in financing activity that is also very important activity the thing is if you are borrowing money it is inflow and if a repayment it's outflow similarly if you are issuing shares it is and bringing cash in that is inflow if you are buying out shares from the market so this is outflow but another important thing here is that if in case you are settling one of your liability by giving giving them shares not cash so one hand you are reducing your liability on the other hand you are putting up cash in i uh, mean shares so it is net off but do remember in such case you are not supposed to be just leave it like that you have to mention in the cash flow statement notes to the accounts that that, that is why the shares are increasing and loans are decreasing because there is no cash involved so in case any significant activity of investments or financing where the cash is not involved you need to give into the notes to the accounts that this is how this increase or decrease in these two items investment in capital assets hope for future company no investments means milking its assets not investing in future growth you know people want to see that you are buying more assets because you are building your capacity so people want to see that rather than you are using whatever money you are coming in and just using it now in in this case if you are paying to your shareholders that is also be reported here payment for dividends and if you are receiving some dividends let's say from somewhere so that will also be reported but that will be reported in the investing activity but sometime we report it in the operating activity so the receipts and payments are in this particular report now financing from borrowing or issuing more shares repayments of loans or buy back shares they are again financing activities then there is less room for manipulation in the numbers in fact in this particular statement you cannot do much otherwise i have seen people are doing lot of things in profit and loss account balance sheet etc but so over cash flow is concerned no one can do anything you have to show clearly the money coming in and the money going out you can prepare cash flow statement looking into income statement and the balance sheets normally we have the two years balance sheet and income statement of a current year and from there we try to work out the cash flow statement cash flow statement is a key indicator of a company's financial health along with the profitability and the shareholders equity i used to say 
profit is one thing but cash flow is the another important thing if profit is life cash flow is blood oxygen that is what important is now cash flow income statement increase in economic benefits during the accounting period in the form of inflows and enhancement of assets or decreased liabilities that result in increase in equity other than those relating to the contribution from the equity participants now expenses decrease income benefits during the accounting period in the form of outflow or debt now the depreciation although it is charged to the income statement but it is not a cash expense it will be adjusted in profit to show but in fact if you are preparing a direct method we will discuss it later if you are preparing a direct method nowhere you will see the depreciation because the depreciation is not a cash expense we are not paying to somebody only the asset you are buying is an outflow so expense decrease the economic benefits during the current period in the form of outflow depreciation is assets is incurrence of liability that result in decrease in equity other than those relating to distribution to the equity participant equity participants means here the shareholders basically if you are making some payments as a dividend then it is an outflow now another important thing here if you are issuing them bonus shares that bonus share is not cash flow it you are what you are doing basically you are utilizing your retained earnings reserves and issuing shares against those reserves so they are not in fact inflow or outflow thank you very much